What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth, and I'm back with you today to unbox Arrow Video's 4K special edition of the fantastic film Candyman. Love this movie. Couldn't wait to get my hands on this thing. Very glad to see that they released this in 4K. I actually even forgot that I ordered this thing because I ordered it so long ago. Pre-ordered it. Pretty sure you know what I mean. Uh, so I figured today I would unbox this. We'll take a look at the book that's inside of here and any other contents or, or goodies that I don't know about that are inside of this box. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will also let you know about how I feel as far as the actual movie, the 4K version of this movie itself goes. So let's get to it. What's up, YouTube? I hope everybody out there is doing well, staying safe. All right. So, yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of Candyman. Saw it in the movie theater with a good friend of mine and have always been a fan of this film. Met Tony Todd a few years back, but quite a few years back at this point, and he was honestly one of my favorite celebrities that I've ever met. So, kicking things off, we have the... Typical arrow hard case there. Got the J card on here. I will take that off. Oh, hopefully I don't rip my box. All right. Firm case that I really like about these things. Here's the back. Dare you say his name five times. Very cool artwork there. Love the artwork here. Love the feel of this. It's got like a matte finish on it. Very nice. Like arrows stuff. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, we have a poster. All right. The poster is probably going to be better seen with the other camera view. All right, so I will show this poster in a couple of minutes to get you a better look at that thing. All right, so here we go with the book. Very nice. There's the <laughs> rib cage full of bees. Very, very nice. I like it. All right, Candyman, the Bernard Rose storyboards. So, very good stuff in here. I'm sure there's a foreword written there by Bernard Rose from September 2018. All right, you can pause that and read it if that's something that you would like to do, but I'm not going to read it here for two reasons. For time, and because I don't have my glasses on. So this is pretty cool seeing the storyboards here, the swarms of bees. Very nice. Two blank storyboards there. What does that say? This is the worst story ever. Yeah, like I said, I don't have my glasses, so I'm definitely not going to try and read this. But it just looks like the storyboards, like the layout of the film. You know, just like, you know, what storyboards are. Very cool to see this artwork, though. I think that's pretty darn cool. I will definitely be taking some more time to read through this when I actually do have my glasses. Sorry, folks, for being so <laughs> ill-prepared to do this. Uh, like I said, you can pause this at any time and hopefully read this. I don't know if uh, the camera view is going to give you what you need in order to do so. But this is definitely pretty cool. It almost reminds me of some of the, like, the scribble and graffiti artwork that you saw in the actual film, that, which is, that just popped into my mind now. That's actually pretty cool. That's what it reminds me of anyway. So this is the quickest way that this story has ever been told that I'm aware of anyway. <laughs> very, very nice stuff here. Almost done. There's a nice shot of the hook. There's the bonfire outside. 
that we know Helen crawls into at the end of the movie. Very good stuff. And that's that. Nice honeycomb backing there. Very cool. Alright, so here we go. Here's the 4K itself. Very nice looking. It's just more of the same artwork that's on the cover. The back, which is, I believe, the exact same thing as the J card, right? Yep, same thing as the J card. I don't know about you guys. I always save my J cards. I typically will fold them in half and just put them inside of the disc or inside of the case with the disc. And the main attraction in here, there's the 4K disc there, the ultra high definition. What kind of goodies do we have in here? Very cool, some like lobby cards or postcards. Definitely lobby cards. There's Candyman and Helen. More Candyman. Something tells me we got a lot of Candyman and Helen. Well, that's basically what Candyman is. The backs are clearly all the same. And again, Candyman and Helen. That is a really cool shot there. I like that one. Reminiscent of the... Uh, the NECA Retro Cloth figure, the most recent Candyman item that I unboxed. I have him posed with his bees in his mouth, or bees leaving his mouth, a mouthful of bees to put it simpler. Helen with bees all over her face, and a shot of Helen. What else do we have here? Anthony Perkins hasn't been himself lately. Edge of Sanity, double the terror, double the fun. On the back, see what you're missing. Not sure exactly what that is. Obviously, that's an advertisement for something else. And what do we have here? Another little thing here. It looks like a, like a newspaper article. We dare you to say his name five times. The Chicago Dispatch. Really cool. Couple pictures of Candyman there. Love that image. Very cool. Like that a lot. The cast and crew. There's Helen again. Just a little right up there. Hey, there's the Lament configuration box. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is actually a Clive Barker project, Candyman, and he was obviously the one responsible for giving the world Pinhead and Hellraiser. And that Lament box has always been one of my favorite I don't know, that would be like a grail item for me if I could get my hands on an actual working lament box. That would that would be something that I would have always dreamed of getting my hands on. Very cool. Uh, why do I know him? Is that from Nightbreed? Haven't seen Nightbreed in many, many years. Uh, good stuff here. Candyman on fire. There's Helen looking through the wall where she looks like she's coming out of the mouth. The graffiti of Candyman on the wall. Candyman on fire at the end of the movie. Candyman walking about with Helen. Walking about. Walking away with Helen. And here is information about the transfer. I'll hold that there. You can pause that. That's something you might actually want to read. So pause there. All right, so that's everything. Now I just got to take myself upstairs to where I have my 4K TV and my all-region Blu-ray player and sit down in front of that TV finally. I've been meaning to get up there to watch this thing for, gosh, it's got to be about a week now I've been trying to watch this. Today is finally the day I am going to sit down in my living room and watch Candyman. So there's my 86 inch LG TV and here we go. There's the opening to Candyman. This is pretty, was a pretty iconic scene. There's the, the image of her coming out of his mouth. Look at how the, the colors in this are just absolutely amazing. The brights are so bright. And pardon the image quality here. That actually is a 4K TV with a 4K DVD player 
and it looks like absolute crap. So lesson learned, when you do things like this, do it at night. There's Tony Todd asking for a kiss. And here he is, ripping that guy's back wide open. New addition to his spine. And here is, that looks absolutely dreadful, the chest full of bees. What else we got coming up here? There's a mouth full of bees. Going to go in and give her a nice bee kiss, which is always pleasant, I'm sure. Who hasn't done it? Look at how beautiful she is here as Candyman approaches her. They actually mentioned that she was hypnotized when she was doing these scenes in the movie. And here's a special feature the interview with Tony Todd, which was very, very good. It was about him getting the job and, you know, making the movie as a whole and everything in general, everything Candyman related. And here's the interview with Virginia Madsen. And she was discussing how she actually is afraid of and allergic to bees. So they always used baby bees on her so that she wouldn't get stung. And here is Clive Barker, the mind behind Candyman and Hellraiser and Nightbreed and Midnight Meat Train. And the list goes on and on. What's we got next here? This is the set designer. She was not what they thought she was going to be. They actually thought that she would be quite different. Uh, I'll let you watch that and figure that out for yourself. Here are the three special effects makeup artists. These interviews were pretty cool, but the, the thing that I took away from this was the multiple hooks that they used and the bees, the uh, whole trailers full of bees that they had when they were making Candyman, which is actually pretty, pretty cool and pretty terrifying at the same time. This section here in the special features, uh, these two are discussing the positive impact on the urban community of Candyman. And here are a couple more short stories from this director. Four to six days later. So that's it. And that was awesome. I'll tell you what, man. I, if I had any idea that simply recording the television set with my phone would have turned out looking so incredibly bad... I probably wouldn't have taken that route, but trial and error, folks. It's the first time I'm doing one of these uh, these sorts of videos. Anyway, the movie itself actually looked amazing. One thing that I was incredibly concerned with with Candyman, man, Candyman, being uh, scanned into 4K, I have always liked the follow me here the griminess of Candyman. The, the in my mind i always think of those close-up pictures of virginia madsen and it, the the movie always looked very soft to me but at the same time while looking soft it sort of looked rough at the same time if you're picking up what i'm putting down or if that makes any sense to you it makes sense to me i was concerned that scanning this and, and creating a 4K copy of this movie would eliminate all of that. Well, to my surprise, it did not eliminate that. I think that it made everything look cleaner, but it still did not lose that that grit that it had and that that rough the rough edges that this movie has. And at the same time, the soft images still remained soft and everything looked sm smooth is a good way to put it. But overall, I think that it held up very nicely. I think that it didn't lose any of its charm uh, that it had in the original version. The special uh, spe special uh, features, the special features on this, a lot of those can be found on the Shout Factory release of Candyman. Uh, so you don't have to go all out and buy this thing to get those but they were nice to have in this as well i like the book i like the poster i like the whole thing and if you ask me you can't go wrong with this arrow release i really like that a lot and i think that i'm going to look into getting some more of these arrows let me know down in the comment section how you felt about this review and and what i can change and what i could tweak and i don't know this was kind of a kind of a flying by the seat of my pants type of thing that whole recording the television set that just kind of popped up thought it would be cool to throw in there 
And then after it was done, I thought it would be kind of cool to not throw it in there. But at the same time, I put so much time into it that I wasn't taking it out. So it is what it is. Trial and error, live and learn. And that's how we progress. I'm getting out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. Thank you for watching, folks. See you in the next one.